Trump delivers a heavy punch and announces major changes in US-China foreign policy. Like what a prophecy had predicted, the year of 2020 will be a disaster ridden year. The plague that struck the entire world has not yet subsided, when a shocking new event occurred. On May 22nd and 23rd, it is reported that the National Congress of the Communist Party of China formulated and forcefully implemented the Hong Kong National Security Law. It was formally passed on May 28th. The New York Times described it as, This is Chinese President Xi Jinping. While the West is busy fighting the epidemic, a political bold gamble is made to domesticate Hong Kong. What will be the result of this bold gamble? Friday, May 29th, US President Donald Trump held a press conference in the White House Rose Garden, announcing the US response to the Hong Kong national security law and a major change in US-China foreign policy. Trump announced, Chinese officials participating in the promotion of Hong Kong's national security law will be sanctioned. He also announced that he would start the process to cancel Hong Kong's preferential economic and trade policies, including tariff preferences, visa treatment, technology exports, etc. Trump said, The CCP has deprived Hong Kong of its autonomy and has implemented one country, one system in Hong Kong. Hong Kong no longer has the conditions to continue to enjoy the special treatment from the United States. Trump once again condemned the CCP's concealment of the epidemic that caused the disease to spread worldwide, triggering a global pandemic. The plague killed more than 100,000 Americans. Thus, Trump announced that the United States is withdrawing from the World Health Organization and terminating funding to the WHO. Trump also mentioned that he will protect the security of universities and review the Chinese student visa. He said, the United States will suspend the entry of designated Chinese citizens. After Trump's speech, the White House announced the suspension of certain Chinese students and researchers from entering the United States, effective June 1st. Trump said, China's pattern of misconduct is well known. For decades, they have ripped off the United States like no one has ever done before. In dealing with China, hundreds of billions of dollars a year were lost. Trump condemned the Chinese Communist Party for stealing American jobs and violating its commitments under the World Trade Organization. He also announced that he will protect the integrity of America's financial system and investigate the Chinese stocks listed on US financial markets. Trump's speech was very brief. After he announced these measures, he quickly left. Ching Peng, a political commentator, explained on Twitter, Trump means, no need to ask questions, just watch my actions. Harry Kazianis, senior director of the Center for the National Interest and an expert on Asian issues, responded to Trump's speech with, President Trump clearly announced today that China is the enemy of the United States. He plans to not only use tough words, but to also take clear and tough actions to fight back this enemy. He also said that, Trump now seems to cast Beijing into a Cold War style adversary, an enemy like the old Soviet Union, a foe America must rise to the challenge against and contain its actions for the benefit of the American people, the oppressed Chinese people, and universal values. US President Donald Trump dealt a heavy blow to the CCP. Will Xi Jinping's bold gamble pay off? We shall wait and see.